All right. I showed this palette off a little while ago. I asked if you guys were interested in seeing a uh, review of first impressions of it because it's been on the market for a hot minute. In fact, I wanted to get it when it first came out, but it was sold out for a long while, but it finally came back on the market. And it seemed like when I did the haul and talked about it and asked if you guys wanted to see a first impression, several people were like, yeah, I wanna see it. So here we are doing a first impressions. What am I talking about? We are talking about the Makeup Revolution Glow Palette. Gorgeous packaging. I love the outside of it. And then inside of it, you get 28 gorgeous shades, all very summery. Kind of reminds me of, I don't know why, but I just get desert vibes from it. It's like very, um, very glitter heavy. There's only, I think of the 28 shades, I think there's maybe only like 10 or so that are matte but just a lot of really gorgeous things to work with. And it's actually very interesting. None of the shades have names. I just noticed that like as we're getting ready to film this day, I was like, huh, there's no names in this. They're just labeled by numbers on the back. On the back, they give you a, oh, that's pinched my finger. Ow, that hurt, jeez, sharp little bitch. Uh, yeah, they just give you a whole bunch of numbers. I'm not sure if you can even see that on camera. Probably not because of the reflectiveness. That being said, I'm really excited to test this one out. I like Makeup Revolution a lot. I know some people are like, mm, I don't know how I feel about it. I've never had a bad experience with any of their palettes and I bought quite a few of them at this point. This one retails at $25. I got it on sale. I think I paid $17.50 for it. So great price because you get so many daggone shades. Uh, now here's what I'm thinking. Here's what the game plan is for ta-da. Uh, we're gonna go on the lid with this guy. We're gonna go for a blending shade. I'm I'm wanting to go with this one. I'm wanting to go with the kind of the brighter shades in this palette. Oh man, I just dug my nail right into him. I'm sorry. Sorry, it's fine. I'm thinking this one because I want, really wanna use the brighter shades, but I do like this kind of like brown shade up here too. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use this as my shimmer shade. So I may actually do this one blending shade, that one. That is gonna be my lower lash line because I really wanna use that blue, like a nice pop of blue. Um, and then I'm thinking for a highlight shade, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go in with like this shade or this shade, depending on what I'm feeling. And maybe this one to like blend out if I need to. Um, so that's the game plan. If you've watched any of our past few of the, uh, the first impression videos. I've been just working my way through the Milani highlighters that I bought that I'm kind of disappointed with, if I'm being honest. Um, it's the Ludicrous Lights. If I can open it, my God, this one's sealed really well. It is the Milani Ludicrous Lights collection. This one is Lala Pablooza. Um, I wanna love these. I bought them because they looked so pretty and they just are underwhelmed by them. The issue I've had with them consistently is that they just give you like a really chunky uh, glitter highlight, not like a nice kind of sheen where you have like a couple really big chunks that hit the reflectiveness nicely. I don't, I don't think anything that I just said right there made sense to anybody, but I just, they're very chunky. They're not very smooth in terms of application. So I've been disappointed with them, but I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and give the blue a shot. We're gonna use that blue in the eye. So let's see, let's see what we can do with it. This is actually, this is definitely the most pigmented of all of the ones that we've tried. Being that blue really just kind of stands out pretty nicely. I just don't like it. I'm gonna blend it out because I obviously have to, but it's definitely, I mean, it's definitely there. Nobody's gonna deny that it's there. If you're going to a festival, not that really anybody should be or is doing that for 2020, but if you are going to a festival, it might have a use. For daily use, there are many highlighters out there that I would recommend before these three. Now I paid $5 for them. They're normally $10.99 full price. $15 that it was not the best $15 I could have spent, but you know what? I didn't break the bank. Just wouldn't recommend. Moving on, the highlighter was not the important part. It's just to get, we did them all. We said we can say we did them all, we did it. All right, let's jump into the eye look because that's what we really care about here. I'm gonna say 24 is what the first shade that I'm using. I think that's what it is. It very possibly is not though. So it's quite, it's a very interesting way for them to um, label it. I have not seen that done before in their palettes or any other palette that I can think of, but you know, it do be like that sometimes. It just applies so nicely. I really like Makeup Revolution. If you haven't used them, I would highly recommend. Very affordable. Just a good, just good quality. I really enjoy them. I really do. There's not much else to say. But I really like this color. Very nice, pretty red, but kind of like that orangey red, not like a deep, deep maroon. Definitely has some vibrance to it. 
And there's really not a lot of patchiness with it either, which is super nice. It makes it just so much easier when you're blending out and trying to apply colors and everything, make it look even. There's a little bit of patchiness back here. I just love their formula, I really do. That's really what it boils down to. Cool. So let's go in with the blending shade now. I uh, haven't washed my makeup brushes in a hot minute. I've decided to go in with the peach shade, by the way, the peach shade, not the brown shade for the blending shade because that's what my brush hits, so that's where we are. I haven't washed my brushes in a hot minute. You guys, if you watch me regularly, you know that's something I'm very bad about doing. And uh, I'm, I've am i moved on to my travel brushes. I pulled out my travel case and said, I'm just gonna use my brushes until all those are dirty and then we'll wash all of them together because that's my system. It's not a good system, but it's a system of a dirty rat person like me. Okay, I went ahead off camera and did uh, all of this blending shade. The issue I'm having with it is a similar one to the issue I had with the two red shades in the Morphe Coca-Cola collab. I just feel like there's very little variation. I mean, they blend it out really well because of that, but I'm going to actually go in with that brown as well and give it hopefully a little bit of dimension to it. Oh yeah, that is much better. It's adding a little bit of oranginess to it, probably because it's brown and red mixed. So it makes this kind of nice little like burnt embered orange, but I like it. It at least has a little bit more something to it, if that makes sense. I don't know what that something is, but there, it's there now. Now it's there. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't have any complaints about the colors, like in terms of application or anything, just that they wound up being way more similar when I was blending it out and I was like, you know, it really do, it really do be like that. That's the message of today's video is it just sometimes it do. Sometimes it don't, but a lot of times it do. You can quote me on that if you would like. Let's go in now. I'm not going to do concealer today. I think that this, um, the shade, the glitter shade I've chosen is going to look really cool if I let the red stay under it. So we're gonna do that. Um, we're going to just give it a nice, like, nice little dusting over the entire eyelid. So I'm probably gonna go all the way back here and everything and just let it be kind of like a shimmery eye look. And then we're gonna do the blue on the other side and we're going to blend it all together and we're gonna see how it looks. Yay! Huh. That did not want to pick up at all. Like at all, like at all. I'm gonna try my finger cause it really just didn't work at all. You know, it's not wanting to lay down very well, unfortunately, but what is picking up is making a really pretty kind of shimmer gradient on top of that red. It really is giving like a very nice effect. It's just really, really giving me some trouble right now, which that's to me is kind of, <laughs> Kind of makes you pause and go, why? What is happening? I'm gonna try a different brush because it really is just being a pain in my ass. Because th this is a this is a palette that is like 90% shimmers. So if the shimmer shades are the issues here, then that's a, that's concerning to me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. The more I try and use the shade, like the different the texture becomes. I just don't know what to do. It's like really not picking up. I've tried two different brushes and my finger and it's just like, no, <laughs> no. Look at my hand. Like it's picking up on my hand, but it's not transferring at all. That's gross. Disappointed. It. It's fine. We're fine. We'll fix that. Or we won't. I don't care. It's nine o'clock at night. What does it matter? I'm gonna try the blue shade on my under eye. We're gonna try that first. Gonna see how he does. He seems like he's picking up better, but it's all about how he lays down. Definitely, definitely seems like it's applying better. I'm putting him on my waterline and everything too. I want, I want a nice little coating of my dudes. Yeah, this one definitely seems to be easier to apply, but I'm using a totally different brush and I'm putting it on a totally different area and there's also no product under it. So there's a lot of factors that could be influencing why that one is really giving me some trouble. This is just that neutral matte blending shade that's included in the palette. There's only one. So I went in and just kind of like cleaning it up. And that actually helped neutralizing that top area really helped to kind of make the glitter pop a little bit better, but I'm still not satisfied. I'm not happy with it. I'm not thrilled. I don't know how I feel about this palette, if I'm being honest. This is probably one of my least favorite Makeup Revolution palettes that I've gotten, which is really sad because I um I really loved it. Like from the, and the first time I saw it, I was really like, oh, wow, that's gorgeous. And then, you know, now here we are, Disappointmentville. It's not bad. I just think that if you're going to um, invest in a palette, especially from them, there are way better ones out there. 
like the Patricia Bright palette, which I talk about every time. I feel like I'm always pimping for that palette, but you know, I just really enjoy that one a lot. I love it. I use it quite frequently and it definitely is better than this particular one. All right, I tried to clean it up off camera and then I fixed my hair and I just, <sighs> the eye look one today, guys. That's how I feel about it. I just am not happy with it. And honestly, a lot of times I blame myself for it. <sighs> yeah, that's it's probably at least 30% me, but I don't like the palette if I'm being honest. I like some of it and I just don't like what I use today. Maybe it's better than I think and I just need to work with it more. It's definitely possible. I, I would not recommend this one for Makeup Revolution. I would say that there are better ones out there. It's a lot of glitter pigments. This one really like, I just, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it looks like, it looks like it's been, the texture has completely changed for me trying to work with it, both with my finger and with the brush. I don't think that should happen with a, a formula. I think that's partially why it didn't want to pick up on my eye for whatever reason. It's just, it was a struggle. So not the best, especially if most of the glitters are going to respond that way. This palette is like, like I said, it's, it's a majority glitter. So unfortunate, but here we are. It do be like that. It really do. That's the message for today. It sometimes it just do be like that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It, uh, yeah, it happened. It's here. Here's my eyes. This is what they look like. It's a, yep. 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 If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, like us, then consider subscribing and uh, hit the notification bell. So you see every time we post new videos, which is pretty consistently. So yeah, you should do that. Other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well, you're safe, and you have a wonderful day, and stay girly with a dark twist.